All right. Good evening. My name is Keith Romano. I'd like to call this meeting to order. This is the Inland Wetlands Commission meeting for Tom Monroe. It is uh, February 9th, yes. 9th, 2022. And the time is uh, 710, 710 p.m. I'll take a roll call of our members of the commission and staff present during tonight's hybrid meeting. Please answer here or present, starting with myself, Keith Romano. Lois Spencer is our vice chair and secretary. Here. A Jim Stewart, uh, who's our treasurer and a licensed uh, surveyor engineer of the state of Connecticut. I don't believe he's here tonight, right? No, Jim's uh, not here. He's not tonight? Okay. Um, Clark Gingras. Here. Ralph Masterocco. Here. Uh, BJ Hall. Here. Eric. Um, Lindstrom. Lindstrom. Here. It's not on my list yet. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, Donna Szynski, our office manager. Here. Uh, Sarah Stroud, our recording secretary. Here. And Ron Baia, our Inland Wetlands agent. Here. Okay. Dude. Before we start, I'll read our mission statement, how the meeting will proceed. Inland Wetlands mission statement. The objective and purpose of the Inland Wetlands Commission is to provide for the overall protection and preservation of the inland wetlands and water courses within the town of Monroe. Meeting procedure. Please note this meeting is being conducted utilizing electronic equipment and compliance with state law public act 21-1. As such, this meeting is being recorded and will be available to the public in compliance with state law. If you are attending remotely, please remember to mute your microphone unless speaking. Anyone participating remotely shall state their name and title if applicable at the onset of each occasion that such person is speaking. All votes taken during which any member of this body or participating remotely shall be taken by roll call unless the vote is unanimous. The chat feature will not be utilized nor considered during this meeting. In the normal course of our meetings, we will hear public hearings and other applications. The protocol for public hearings is to have an applicant make a presentation to the commission during which after which the commission will be asking the applicant questions. I'd like to ask the applicants to keep the presentation as concise as possible. The commission will then review town staff and other independent comments. The meeting will then be open for public comment. I will ask that all comments be made to the chair or commission. After any and all comments pro and opposition of a general nature are made, the applicant will be given an opportunity to respond. Please keep comments or questions direct and a time limit of three minutes may be imposed. It's not necessary that the applicant respond, but generally in their best interest to do so. There'll be no further opportunity for new questions unless new materials entered into as evidence or testimony during their response. Please keep all comments pro and con specific to inland wetlands related matters. Other applications that do not involve a public hearing will follow a similar format with the exception that there will be no public comments allowed. The meeting follows a published agenda unless otherwise amended. Are there any changes to the agenda? No, <laughs> there are not. Okay, that's good. All right, um, before we continue, we'll stand for deleted. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, justice for all. Okay. Okay, let's, um, let's just do the general public participation section. Get that over with anybody here uh, online, or, well, obviously no one here, um, have anything they want to address the this Wetlands Commission? in matters that are not in front of us right now or will not be in front of us in the near future. Look like it. Okay, let's do the officer voting. Um, so this is a, a new thing for me. I haven't done it before. So if I'm astray or need some guidance, feel free, just chime in. But. I guess the first thing I would ask is, does anybody want to resign any position that they're in? And really, it's only just myself and Lois that are officers right now. I have- And Jim's not here, he's second. Right, so- uh, Does anyone want to nominate someone so, else? Right, I wanted to first of all, to make sure no one wants to, oh, you know, wants to resign from it and open oh. it up. So it's, and that's Lois, where is she? Where'd she go? Oh, no worries. Where are you at? I'm here. Okay. I, can you can you guys see me? Because I have no idea. Yes, yeah. can see you, and now we can hear you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I would maintain my position if I were on the commission. Okay. You have two, both of them. 
Sure. Okay. What, what two? She's vice chair and secretary. I don't think she was ever. Oh, right. Yeah. I don't know how she became. I don't know how that. I can't remember how that happened. Nobody else wanted it. Right. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah, what happens? Is anybody, will anybody like to. So for any of the four officers, anybody here like to nominate somebody or nominate themselves for a position? I'd like to nominate BJ for chairman. Okay. Does that have to be sec seconded? It does need to be seconded. Okay. The second? Second. Second. Ross Masarocco. Okay. Is that, we're going to do, are we doing one at a time? Yeah. Um, okay. Ross, you need a vote. Okay, so uh, all in favor of BJ Hall for chairman position? Aye. Aye. Okay, well, then better. Oh, so. Looks like you're uh, taking over after this meeting. Cool. <laughs> okay. well, you guys are just abstaining, is that? Is that uh, I'm sorry. I voted. Yeah, everybody voted in favor, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Too late to resign. <laughs> Do you want to accept that? I, I need to be professional. Okay. Do you want to accept that position? I will. I will accept that. Yeah. Okay. I have the time. Okay. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four. Uh, any other? Any anybody want to nominate bells for any other position? And are you voting for yourself or for uh, Bate? That doesn't really matter. I'll abstain. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Okay. Well, with the um, potential pending departure of Lois, we, we have uh, two positions that could become vacant. Do we right. want to deal with those now? Well, that's why I just asked her. If, I don't. I asked her if she wanted to resign. Yeah. And she said no, and I asked if I anybody want else to resign. nominate anybody from, you know, anybody else for the position. Right. Right. That's what I was thinking. It may be in our best interest to nominate someone at least for one of those positions. So, does somebody so, want to nominate someone for vice chair? Well. Oh, you're right. Okay, if you, if right. I'm just trying to trying to think ahead a little bit. We no. can do it now, or we can do it when she changes positions. I know Lois, you'd stay till the bitter end. Oh yeah. Um, I would I would nominate Keith to be vice chairman. Right. Okay. Is there a second for that? I second. A second. Um, so, uh, but. Now we're still voting for both. We're still, it's a vote for both, both them, myself and Lois, right? So all, all in favor for Lois Spence? Me. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, Ross and Lois and Clark. <clears throat> and, okay. Two for then, Lois, right? Okay. Three. Three. Ross, Clark, and Lois. So Lois already has two jobs, right? Oh, yeah. So we're voting on those now. No. She's, she's she. So BJ just nominated me for vice chair. Okay. Which she now Lois has both vice chair and secretary. Okay. So BJ just nominated me. Lois still wants to retain the position. So we're voting. It was a vote either for Lois or for me for vice chair. Because awesome. after this meeting, I'm not vice chair. I'm not chairman anymore. Okay. I'm going to put my vote towards you. Lois, I think, has enough to do. Okay. All right, so let's. So now I think it was Commissioner Gingras, Commissioner Spence voting for Commissioner Spence, and then all for myself. And that's what it feels. I'm confused. Okay, so we have. They may want to nominate for secretary. Does anybody want to make that nomination? I nominate Lois for secretary. All right, well, she already is. We have to be somebody, we have to be somebody else. <laughs> Two jobs. Oh. Right? Yeah. So if there's no other nomination for anybody else, then there's no there's no point, uh, I don't think. And then the other one is treasurer. Does anybody want to nominate someone for treasurer? 
Which I don't know if the commission really wants to have that. I don't know why there's a treasurer. Oh, either. We don't have any money. Right. <laughs> I mean, it's very limited, and I do this office staff does all your stuff. So right. you don't. You could vote to get rid of the treasurer if you want. <laughs> I guess. I, I make a motion that we get rid of the treasurer position. I'll second that. We got a motion from Commissioner Gingras to remove the treasurer position, a second by Commissioner Hall. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. All right, motion passed unanimously. So the treasurer is the one who deals with the bonds? No, just no. nothing. Nothing? Just like those are the four common officers that every, you know, Commission has. Commission has, but we just there's no nothing to do. There's no there's nothing involved. So was that six in favor to remove the treasurer and yeah. zero? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm assuming we would do a cross check of the regulations, the bylaws to make sure we can do that. But I'll I, take, I'll I'm take a look. I'm pretty sure you can. Problems. Yeah. So we have um, a motion <clears throat> by Lois to have BJ be chairman, a second by Ross. And the vote was uh, four zero one. Is that right? There's yeah, four zero and he abstained. Okay. Yes. Or I thought it was five one. And, and you abstained. No, Jim's out, and you abstained. So it would uh, be four zero one. No, but there's six of us here now. Four zero. That'd be five zero one then. Everybody. It's fast math no slow math. Either one. I sorry. It's, it's five, okay. Five five zero one. Okay. Just correcting the record. So for vice chair, we have a motion by BJ for Keith, and then um, the second. Who seconded that? I did. I'm sorry. Who did Ross? Yes. Okay. And uh, we had. Two years only, and that's it. Two for Lois, and no, we just decided four, to four for and had a vote in a long Keith. time. So we just, it, okay. at the beginning of the year, we decided just so to keep the officers again, just so it's not like monopolized or anything. Uh, two, no, it is zero. You'd be chairman or forever, you'd be any position for. Like Lois has been secretary for probably decades. We're not doing secretary because Lois is <laughs> just staying secretary. I'm assuming. I'm just, you know. Right. Lois is staying secretary. And so there was no vote. Uh, and then the vote okay. to remove treasurer altogether as a position. And that was Clark and BJ. Okay. All right. That's done. All right. So we'll do application hearing determination. Um, IWC 2022-0224 Commerce Drive, construction of two commercial buildings with associated parking and site development. <clears throat> that is. So what I will tell you is, and I think I explained it in my emails, is that um, due to the submission dates of these, their pending application notices are not being published until next Wednesday. So tonight you're only making a determination as to whether you want a regular or a public hearing. That's it. And the second uh, 83, right, well, let's just stick with 24 Commerce. You all have that one. Okay. So go ahead. Anybody have any uh, suggestions on on this one? On 24 Commerce Drive, yeah. I would uh, suggest at this point, make a motion if necessary, that that become a, a regular hearing. We have, a, we have a motion for a regular meeting um, for for 24 Commerce Drive, you have a second? I'll say. Second. Okay. Second by Commissioner Masaraco. Now, I do uh, have one comment after having reviewed the materials. Okay. When we do have the hearing, I would request, maybe I don't know if there's anybody representing them, but mm -hmm. that we get the soil report and the wetlands assessment report, which were not in the packet. I don't know. Well, if this, this is Jason Edwards. I can uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're still on a, we're on a motion. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. So. For the hearing, it would be good to have even the ones from the last application would be good, but as a reference okay. material. I'm sorry, the wetlands and the the soil report and the wetlands assessment. Soil report. They may have been submitted. I just they may not have been in your packets. Okay. So um and actually they may be up on the website already. Soil report. If they are, that's fine. Wetlands. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and so you need a. So we have a motion. Um, all in favor of uh, 
of making this a public uh, a regular meeting. Aye. 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 Motion passed unanimously. Okay. Um, okay, now it's point twenty two 83 Riding Ridge Road, pool with retaining walls, concrete pool deck and fencing. So those um, you got to, tonight in front of you, if you'd like to review it, this application um, has already been through ZBA for a variance for a retaining wall, um, which it did get approved for. Um, and that's all that's I all have so far. Yeah. <laughs> so you can take, you open up the maps and take a look at it if you want to, for making a decision on how you want to. Do it. I can put those up for you. Uh, low <clears throat> That up on the screen <clears throat> if you want. Be great, please, because I have not had a chance to review the materials. I'm not home. So, um, desktop up. This is writing rich. That's it, man. Is it right here? Um. My opinion is this isn't a neighborhood with neighbor, you know. You know, I think it's probably I would think this should be a public. You know, Commerce Drive is in a commercial. Can you see that, Lois, or the people on the uh, buildings? Is it large enough? Well, yeah, I can see it. Thank you. That's good. This way the, the way the pool is placed is reasonably close where they got the the variance on the setback, and I know there's another house in here, so you may be right to the the house on the <laughs> south side, the low side, which does there. It's uh, fairly close. Down here? Down there, yeah. Yeah, behind. Do uh, you think otherwise? You think it's. Well, no, I'm I would, I would like to make up. a motion. I'll right. make a motion that we bring this to public hearing and that it may be in the public interest to do so. Okay. So a motion to make this a public hearing. Do you have a second? Second? Anyone? I'll second it. Okay, so we have a motion with Commissioner Spence, a second by Commissioner Hall. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, motion passed unanimously. Public hearing. Okay. okay. Um, regular meeting, none. Public hearings, none. We're on to agent activity reports, IPU 2022, for 1714 Main Street, addition to existing agricultural garage previously. Um, wanna, wanna... We talked about this already. Okay. So when I went out and did my inspection on this particular property, uh, one thing I was concerned about was impervious surface which it's already asphalt as it is so by putting a little building there um i don't think it's any more of the runoff than, than they have one two um, he came in and filled out a form i think we chatted about that for, for <laughs> sort of like farm exemption or he declared like a farm right so he had completed that as well okay so i think i'll leave it up to you guys to figure out what you may so, so your your interpretation of the stat of the status is that he he has does not need our permission to put the building on, right? The addition. On. I I have not. So, in fairness to myself, I have not had enough institutional knowledge of Monroe, and how you guys have done these kind of applications in the past. Um, whether you do it like this administratively and say you know we're okay with the building going up, or you want to, you know scrutinize it a little bit more or I can't, you know. I, I in my in my conversation, my cons my only concern is well first of all, no we've this is the second or third time that we've had people say they have these rights at, because of their farm status, but right. no one has actually given us anything to actually look at and show these are what the parameters are. Now I believe that that 
land property owner has the right to put in this building, especially since from what I was told, it's not really all that close to any wetlands. It's just in a review area. No, it's just in the review. It's not, yeah. The only thing that we would have, we can, we can, I think the only thing that us as a commission can impose is just approving, like say his erosion control technique and right. stuff like that, whatever he's going to do, you know, method, 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 methodically. Oh. He, like he, we can't say no to him. We can't say you got to shrink it. He can do what he wants in that area, but I think, there's got to be because I think that's the previously disturbed area already, yeah. right? It's yeah, not, yeah, but it's been excavated. It's in current. It's disturbed right now. No, no. I mean, it's no. it's been it was it's lawn like it's been right. something that was already. I, I, what my my point being is that it's. I think that's required by any building permit, anyways. Right. But you know, there's always that erosion control, sure. law, whatever. I just think if we feel like as a commission that that the other the town staff will will put together enough of a <clears throat> of a protocol for the for the property owner to do his to, to do the addition then we can just agree that he has a right i have no problem with that i mean i'll carry that out as far as soil and erosion control and start making sure that they don't affect anyone else i have no problem with that whatsoever and i'll see that through till the end of the project so so what what action do we need to take as a commission now? Just to approve? Oh, to approve I think you have yeah. to do a or, approve or or just to, or or to defer it to staff. Yeah, I you think you they really don't have anything to approve in front of us, right? You can declare it to we don't, have a, we don't have a plan in front of us. Right. So there's nothing, there's no document to approve. Right. 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 You can just I guess we'll make a motion. Ruling. Right. You right. can declare so that a motion to allow town staff to handle this right. and not involve the wetlands commission. Right. So someone want to make a motion for that? So in other words, it's an agent's approval. More or right. less, yeah. yeah. Okay, no. I so move. What's that? I so move to make it an agent approval. Okay, a we second. have a motion to make a okay, second. motion from Commissioner Spence, second by Commissioner Gingras to make this agent approval. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed unanimously. So you don't want, it's not a. No, it's just gonna be done administratively through the staff. Right, but you're not want it to be a permitted use. You want them to do an agent approval. It's it's out of our. We just voted that it's not. We're not we're not involved. Okay, okay, okay. Lois and Clark. Okay. okay. Now, on to general discussion. Other we have the LEP candidate Rob McCarthy from NC Scope of Services. Um, Rob I'm sorry, who is that? It's Clark. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, is is uh, Rob McCarthy with us tonight? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Do you want to just take a few minutes to um, to overview your proposal to us or any other things you want to share with us on this matter? Um, yeah, I was just going to cover uh, my background a little bit. Um, in that I am a licensed in, uh, environmental professional in the state of Connecticut. I have been for about 20 years. I've um, been working in environmental consulting for just about 30 years now. Um, I'm also a professional engineer in the state of Connecticut. Um, and I've basically been working in the environmental industry for, for the entire time of my career, all size projects, small to large, um, you know, large being doing work down at the submarine base in Groton to you know, various um, you know, property transfer sites under the Connecticut regulations uh, throughout the state of Connecticut. Um, you know, worked on all, all sorts of different types of remediation from large dig and haul projects. Actually just did something down at the Sikorsky site in Stratford last year. Uh, that was a pretty good sized dig and haul project. You know, so familiar with, with soil trucking and all that. Uh, that would be similar to, to what's needed at the quarry. Um, I guess, I don't know if you need me to really go through the. I'd like to, I'd like you to, to talk about um, what you, so, so you were given the scope of work, um, right? To, to put a proposal together on. Um, so it wasn't a very defined scope of work uh, in that, you know, mainly we were told to, you know, write a scope of work that met what the Inland Wetlands Commission had in their approval. Okay. You know, which was to do some some monitoring and inspections. So 
Well, why don't you just go through that real quickly um, for us? Because I'm thinking there's going to be some questions. Okay, so from what we were told, you know, there's going to be like an initial part of the project where some material is going to be removed from the site. And during that time, we might need to have somebody on site, you know, all the time for, you know, for a few weeks. And so we do have a junior staff member that, you know, that will be able to cover that so that it wouldn't have to be somebody, you know, that's an LEP that's out there, but under my direction, and they would be reporting to me all the time as to what's going on. Um, you know, so that's that initial phase that's basically to, to be out there for a few weeks to, to monitor um, the material that's leaving the site and, you know, watch the documentation and document for the town on their behalf as well. Um, and then I guess the second phase per se would be to, to then be part of that monitoring and inspection as the material is going into the site to see, you know, to be able to see what the material looks like. Um, I haven't had time to really review all the documents associated with this project, um, but my understanding is, you know, there will be some form of a, you know, of, of an approval process for material to come in, and that you know we might need to to look at that and keep an eye on that as far as record keeping goes, and that the owner is you know maintaining their records, and we want to look at that on a regular basis too. And so, as part of that, you know, second phase, we just wrote it up as a scope for to do that for a year and to have um, someone be at the site on a maybe once a week basis. And me as the LEP would come down maybe once a month and look at things and then have a, a monthly report that was indicated in the inland wetland approval also that we would put together based on our observations. Um, and you're, you're, you're think the once, once, um, once it's, I, I, I'll use the word stabilized, but it's not the right term really for my question. Um, once it's kind of like in operation, like once, you know, protocols are, are set forth, you know, um, the, 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 the flow chart, so to speak of the whole property, once those like initial getting going things are done, what do you feel would be the, 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 in, the interval for site visits and review of any, say, documentation, um, is it weekly or monthly or what? We, and we wrote it up as, as weekly uh, to have somebody go down weekly and just, you know, get a look at w how much material came in, what it's looking like, you know, maybe look at the records. But certainly, you know, it could be adjusted as time goes on based on, you know, the process that's being followed, how well they're following it how much material is actually coming in. And, you know, if they don't have that much coming in, then obviously you may not need as frequent of visits. Yeah, so it, it could be a flexible program. You know, yes, as things have, you know, kind of, as, as the procedures are followed and how, you know, how the owner's actually following them and how everything's, you know, being done at the site. Uh, it's my understanding that there's a, there's a, we have a, I know you, I think you presented this as a, as like a TNM kind of um, proposal, but we have a, we have a, um, a monetary cap before it go has to be a, you know, public bid offering type of situation. Um, so is there any way to, I see, you know, just browsing over this, I see, um, you know, task one, um, is there any way to, to, to do a full year projection on cost so that we so, could see if that is not going to become a conflict. Yeah. So actually under task two, I did, there is a, a number thrown out there to do 12 months of the monitoring. Yep. And that is based on weekly visits, um, you know, and monthly reporting. So the last paragraph of task two has, has an estimate of what it would be for a year. You're you're saying that the first year you're estimating to be a hundred thousand dollars. Yes. I mean the two tests. Yes. Um, does anybody else want to ask uh, Mr. McCarthy questions? No. I do. Um, our our statement of work, if you will, was one simple paragraph in our approval which I, I'm not sure if you'd seen our IWC approval with conditions. I'm not sure that's a public document. But uh, there, were, there were basically 
three criteria that we had asked for. First was to develop the detailed criteria, criteria and perform the well and pumping performance monitoring and the restoration progress for wetland and vernal pools. In, in our requirements, there was nothing regarding soil excavation or ba monitoring backfilling. Um, so I would, I would like to see a, a revision here that could include that. Uh, there's really nothing in here about monitoring the condition of the wetlands other than the backfill that's coming in. I think the section task three relates specifically to our item number two, basically. Yeah, and that's where, so for the well pumping or monitoring, and because that's basically all that that sentence said, um, we have absolutely no detail to go on as to what that might entail, um, you know, as far as what level of effort that would be or what's actually required to do that. And, and I think that was the challenge we gave you with the, uh, the first part was that you would develop the criteria. And okay. I think, I think you've, you've got a good start on that, but I would see maybe a, uh, a document with criteria that would come out of this before everything would start. That would be part of what you would, not part of the proposal, but part of your activity. So you're asking for a change of this scope of work based on, you're asking for this to be rewritten, so to speak, right? Uh, I believe- or you're requ yes. requesting, you're suggesting. Yes. Um, um, I believe what what may have, this was in some way combined, but I haven't seen right. any. Well, statement of work that we put out, but I think it got combined with P and Z's. It's possible. Yeah, I think um, these first two are there. Um, now, just one one thing uh, to let all the commissioners know, if you're not already aware, there was four, there was four um, requests for proposals and NSAFE is the only one that was able to produce one. Uh, a couple were conflict of interest and I can't remember what the other reasons were, it's irrelevant. So we're actually only, we're like kind of, in a sense, there's like a, what's the term about the audience? Uh, Last man standing. You know, it's a, well, whatever, it's a, what's the word? Last man standing. <laughs> no, it's like an audience, whatever, but I can't think of it. But anyways, we only have one proposal to consider, but the proposal as written, to my understanding, is that actually it's, it's so, it's so, um, the cost is so high that we can't actually approve it as a commission, I think. If I'm understanding this correctly. If it was both planning and zoning and IWC? I don't know. See that part, I don't know. Okay. I don't know if that, I, I, it, it's Rick way over my head. So yeah. I'm just saying that we can only approve up to $50,000 a year. So. Um, can, I, can I butt in for a second? Sure. Um, I'm, First of all, wasn't the condition that the applicant pay for this, not to hey, but the, the town? But the town, but the town, the town, I think the town contracts, and then the bill gets re, it gets reimbursed. So the town can only contract up to fifty thousand dollars a year with any vendor, without going into a whole different realm of, like I guess bidding and whatever, all legal stuff that's way over my head. Hmm. That's what I was told. Okay, uh, but I think. I think right now, if this scope of work is combining two different applications, I don't think it's fair that we're the ones that are, you know, trying to assess all of it, I guess, in a way. But we also have to look at, you know, we have, an, we have our approval, which re required, as Commissioner Hall just said, require certain things that need to be done. If this has extra stuff in it, not only does it make it complicated for us, and does it throw it into the into the potential dollar numbers that we can't just easily approve? It's also really not you know fair to the to the uh, property owner. Mm -hmm. You know, through us, I don't know. I, I really have no clue. Uh, I don't have enough you know information to know what the conditions are on the PNZ. I really don't know anything about it. It was, well, task here. it was enough that's task here. We didn't need to, you know, fill our brain cells with that. But um, so I think right now, Rob, 
we have to, we'll have to get with the, the town staff that you've been previously in contact with. Okay. And see how we're going to um, readjust this proposal. Okay. Yeah, yeah we can make sure. But any other commissioners have any questions that you, we can yeah, still me. discuss this. It's now. Yeah. Commissioner Spencer, do you have? Yeah, I do. Uh, I agree with BJ because it was originally our request and the whole purpose was to monitor how the well pumping was working in the wetlands and was it doing what it was supposed to be doing. And that was the primary goal of having our LEP. PNZ didn't hire their own because they knew that we were hiring one. So really we should be the first line of consideration because we were the first ones that started it. And I'm, I'm thinking that the two scopes of work should be separated, although being performed at the same time by the same group, so to speak, they should kind of be separated so that we can have, well, maybe it'll fit right into town council's um, requirements that way. And we each get assurances that what each group needs is going to be taken care of, if that makes any sense. I think it does. I don't know. I still don't know how to get past the cap. Yeah. But separating them is, I believe, necessary here because the, the primary cost is not related to the work we requested. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really. We, re we really, this proposal is probably, you know, fully encompasses everything that the project needs, but we can't be considering parts of this that don't. You know, meet what our condition was. Absolutely, right, right. that's right. Mm -hmm. um, I don't feel there's anything we can move forward on without going mm -hmm. back and asking some internal questions. Any other questions from any of the commissioners about this proposal, or to Mr. McCarthy while he's here with us? McCarthy, right? Um, no. Well. I think it all looks good for what it is. Okay. Uh, thank you, um, Rob, for, for joining us tonight. And hopefully sure we, we can uh, get this down to uh, something that works. Okay. Yeah, we can certainly work with you, you know, refine what, what we need to to, uh, to make it fit the needs of your commission and, and PNZ also. So, okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Now the minutes of January 26, 2022. We always look to Lois at this point. Right. Uh, Where is she? It's hiding now. I mean, I, I can't quite get this. Uh... I did review the minutes okay. uh, against the recording. And I would make a motion to accept. Okay, we have a motion to accept the minutes as drafted. <clears throat> Pending any sure. comment. Yes, I'd make that motion. Right. Now, I, I still have would a, love have to. have a hear. second? Anyone want a second? Second. A second from Commissioner Masarocco. Um, any discussion? All right. Uh, all in favor? Aye. All right. Uh, I saw four hands and I heard one voice. So I, have to, I have to abstain. Oh, okay. Right. Thank you. Right. All right, we've got five in favor and one abstention. The minutes are accepted. The regulation amendment committee? Nothing. The Not public yet. outreach committee? No. All right. That's it, right? Sure, yeah. All right, so uh, this meeting is, oh, so I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting. I make a motion to close the meeting. A motion for, for Commissioner Ingers to close the meeting. I have a second. Eric. Second. Um, and all in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. All right, this meeting is adjourned at 9 p.m.